Hey everyone, it's Kai. From fish with feet to ones that look like they're from another planet entirely, here are some of the most unique fish that live in the depths of the ocean. Number 9. Humphead Parrotfish The humphead parrotfish, also known as the bumphead, doublehead, or buffalo parrotfish, is one of the goofiest guys in the ocean. Parrotfish are quite common, and smaller varieties of parrotfish come in a beautiful array of psychedelic colors. While all these fish are pretty unusual, the bumphead is the king of them all, with its enormous deformed head and aggressive behavior. They get their name from their beak-like mouths, which are capable of cracking through hard bits of coral. With huge buck teeth and strangely human-like expressions, they look permanently shocked by everything. Although from a distance, it looks as if they just have two giant teeth, if you look closely, you'll see they have 15 rows of up to 1,000 smaller teeth. These razor-like shields can grind hard objects and the teeth regularly fall out and regrow. Their heads also appear to be deformed. This is because they use the enormous bump on their heads to battle each other. These lumps are pretty solid, and some researchers have found them using their heads to break off bits of coral and even rocks. The largest of these fish, the green humphead, are huge and can weigh up to 46 kilograms. As with many strange ocean creatures, these fish are often eaten as sashimi in Japan. Number 8. The Blobfish The blobfish has been named the world's ugliest animal, although many people find their frowny faces endearing. Bright pink with what looks like a droopy nose, many pictures of the hilarious blobfish have circulated the internet. Its silly expression has even become a meme. Many people have written passionate defenses of the bullied blobfish. Under the water, these guys look pretty normal. It's only when they're on land that they look like angry old men. Aww. Their strange, fleshy consistency is partly due to their incredibly soft bones. It may seem weird to us, but the blobfish has evolved to live in some of the deepest parts of the ocean. Its blobby flesh and soft innards prevent the extreme water pressure that would kill us from having any effect on the fish. They live so deep down, in fact, we know very little about them because they're almost impossible to study until they wash up on land. A fish expert from Sydney, one of the few people to actually eat the fish, has claimed that although the blobfish may be the ugliest thing in the ocean, it's also one of the tastiest. Its jelly-like flesh has a melt-in-the-mouth texture and a lobster-like taste. Delicious. Do you want to try it? I think I'll pass. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 7. The Stargazer Fish This strange fish is as nasty as it looks. The Stargazer Fish got its name because its eyes are on the flat of its head giving it a peculiar expression as if it's, well, stargazing. When actually, it's just watching out for prey and people who may step on it. Most fish have eyes either side of their head because they're prey animals. The stargazer is not, and it's safe to say nothing messes with this fish. The fish's beige color and texture camouflages it on the sandy sea floor, which it likes to bury itself in in order to wait for its victims. This fish doesn't just look horrifying, they are actually quite dangerous. They have several poisonous spines on their fins and in their mouths. They have razor sharp teeth for eating smaller fishes, which they trick with a worm shaped lure that hangs off their faces. Its back spines make it a dangerous fish to step on if you're wading in the shallows. If that wasn't enough, some varieties can generate an electric current and can shock unsuspecting victims. They have special glands near their eyes, which send out electric currents in the water. They aren't fussy eaters and can even crack crabs with their teeth. Number six, the frogfish. Frogfish are a fascinating family of tropical fish known for their silly appearance and strange behavior. They get their name from their unusual feet-like fins, which they can use to stand on the ocean bed. They look like frogs or tiny little dogs when their fins touch the seafloor. 
they're actually kind of cute. They can sometimes be seen trundling along, looking for prey. They are almost the only fish in the world that can walk. When they get bored of walking, they like to jump, using a forceful water jet which they push out of their powerful mouths. This fish is also adept at hiding and can change color like a chameleon. They can become sandy like the seafloor or bright orange or red like coral. This change is slow and they will spend days trying to match the color of their chosen surroundings. They come in about as many shapes and sizes as the coral they live in. Some of the otter varieties include the hairy frogfish, which resembles algae and other sea plants, and the warty frogfish, whose lumps help it mimic the texture of rocks and coral. The psychedelic frogfish looks like a bad trip and is one of the rarest species of all. Aside from looking hilarious, they also exhibit odd behaviors. They have enormous jaws because they are flesh eaters and can swallow big objects. The frogfish yawns when it sees its prey in order to swallow them whole. They can also be seen yawning for no apparent reason and people who study them think it might be reflex for them or just something that makes them feel good. These fish are cannibals and will resort to eating each other if they are desperate. Oh, number five, the boxfish. You may have guessed from the name that the boxfish is almost perfectly square. This bright yellow and black spotted fish lives in tropical waters. These tiny fish are adorable, but be careful. Their colorful appearance serves as a warning and they are pretty poisonous. This poison spreads in a cloud into the water and onto the rocky surfaces. They also have super hard scales, which serve as armor against predators. Their tiny kiss-shaped mouths are used to hoover up algae and small plankton-like creatures. They get up to three inches long at most and make pretty good pets. Don't put them in a tank with other fish though. They've been known to murder their aquarium mates. One of the silliest species of boxfish is the longhorn cowfish which has tiny spikes on its head it can use to charge other fish. In 2005, Mercedes-Benz built a car based on the design of the fish. In theory, the tiny fish's super hard square-shaped body is perfect for both smooth movement and protection. Both things a good car needs. If you fancy a ride in a box fish car, it's called the Bionic and it costs just under 30 grand. Its unusual shape will definitely get you some looks by passing drivers. Number four, anglerfish. Remember in the Finding Nemo movie when Marlin and Dory drop the mask and she calls him Mr. Grumpy Girls and proceeds to swim deeper down and start singing, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Love that movie. Well, anyways, then you'll remember the fish that they run into. If you go down deeper than 2,000 meters in the ocean, you reach what is known as the abyssal zone. Temperatures here are icy at about 39 degrees Fahrenheit, just above freezing. There is no light here whatsoever and the pressure is extreme. Almost no animals can live in the abyssal zone and very few humans have ever been down this deep. Most of the animals that do live down here are gelatinous, such as jellyfish. One of the only fish we know at this depth is the anglerfish. These deep sea predators have razor sharp teeth and their heads are bigger than their bodies. Adult anglerfish can get up to three feet long. However, the females are much bigger than the males. A female angler can actually carry up to six males around with her because they're so tiny. When they mate, male anglers dissolve into the female, leaving just their genitals behind. Interesting. Although their eyes barely work, they don't really need them because it's pitch black that far down in the ocean. They appear to light their way anyway with a makeshift torch attached to their heads. This fish can produce what is known as bioluminescence when organic matter produces a lamp-like glow. This lamp is actually a lure used to trick prey into swimming up to the anglerfish, just like Dory did. Small creatures are drawn in by the light and then promptly swallowed by the large mouth beasts. They have been filmed very few times, and it was only recently discovered that in addition to the light in front of their face, 
Anglerfish have long, glowing string-like appendages coming off their bodies in all directions. The anglerfish is still pretty mysterious, but is most definitely one of the coolest fish in the ocean. Number three, the knife-toothed sawfish. This species of fish is one of the most unusual in the world. It is actually a sort of cross between a shark and a ray. Its long nose looks like a chainsaw and it uses it to fight other fish. What looks like teeth are actually extremely tough scales dotted along the creature's face. Their noses make up about a quarter of their length and are used as a deadly weapon when the fish slashes from side to side. The way they hunt makes them even more amazing. Like many sharks and rays, they can sense electrical activity in the water, which allows them to find other animals. All animals give off a small bioelectrical charge from their cells. Tiny sensing organs in their huge noses can detect this minuscule electric current. When the sawfish feels it in the water, it homes in on its prey. People still try to catch this amazing looking fish in order to display their noses as a trophy. Ugh, I don't like that. They have a long history of being hunted. The Mayans used to use the spikes from the sawfish for religious purposes, and they are often found in ancient burial sites. More recently, sawfish skin was used to make cowboy boots. It is currently illegal to hunt them. And in spite of how fierce they look, they are seriously endangered and need our protection. Number two, the flying fish. It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope, wait, it's a fish. These torpedo-shaped little fish are aerodynamic and super fast under the sea and in the air. They build up speed in the water, then leap out of the ocean using their wing-shaped fins to glide through the air like a bird. They can get up to 37 miles per hour when they're dipping in and out of the water. Provided they have the right wind conditions, they have been known to make continuous glides over hundreds of feet. Some have even been recorded flying over 1,300 feet with regular dips in the water. They get up to surprising heights, capable of leaping up to four feet above the ocean's surface. Many other fish like to eat them, which is why they've evolved to be one of the fastest and hardest to catch. They are less good at escaping humans. Fishermen know that these fish are particularly attracted to lights, which they use to attract groups of them into their nets. They typically swim in huge shells and make an amazing sight when flocks of them glide over the water. When the conditions are right in safer parts of the ocean, large schools of these fish can reach into the millions. Number one, the barrel eye fish. First found in 1939, where it was described in a marine journal, the barrel eye fish wouldn't be seen again until 67 years later. Sneaky little guy. This fish's head is transparent, allowing you to view its brains and other organs. Because of its ghostly see-through appearance, it has earned the nickname the spook fish. Scientists are unsure what is in their transparent heads. One theory is that their organs are cushioned by a special protective liquid. The barrel eye fish also has incredible vision. Its barrel-shaped eyes can rotate in its head, similar to a chameleon. They are good at seeing in low light levels. Where this fish lives? In the deepest parts of the ocean. Their unusual eyes are specifically useful for spotting bioluminescence, the strange glow many deep sea creatures produce. Their scaled bellies act as a form of mirror, preventing other predators from spotting them in a similar way. Amazingly, because their heads are see-through, they can look up through their own heads at prey swimming above them. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these unique fish found living in the deepest parts of our oceans? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.